talk about how to go find the ideal prospects. Win-win residual. A lot of great, uh, great answers. So here is some of the things that I found people really love about local marketing. The same things that I was passionate about, Rob's passionate about, and the people who are having the most success for passion is you can start making money quickly. You can go out in your first week in this business and start making money in, but with your very first client that you get. And you don't have to be an expert at everything. Growing up in the, the world of online marketing, you had to learn and be experts at dozens and dozens of things before you started making money. With this one, you can just have to go out and start talking to the right businesses and you're making money without being an expert at all the other stuff. And then you can outsource the services to people that are the experts, which makes you, puts you in a profit quickly. And you get to truly help business owners. And not only the business owners' lives, but the employees that they employ and the, fam the, the families that they feed and the local communities that they serve. So you get to have the satisfaction that you're making an impact in this world and the lives of people with, while you're making money. So why has it become harder today? When I got started in 2009, it was brain dead simple to make a lot of money in this business. And over time, it started to become harder. And some of the things that I've seen with the people I've talked to is, one, you can't get at clients as quickly as you used to because it, it, uh, more competition in the marketplace for the traditional services like SEO and maps and social media and building websites. There's just more people doing that than there were just a couple years ago. And those types of services have become commoditized and harder to outsource, so you have to differentiate yourself. And it's harder to charge the premium prices that we liked to charge of $1,000 or more. And you need to be seen more as an expert because there's so much competition out there. And at the end of the day, you just lack the stable, consistent, constantly growing, recurring revenue and security that you got in this business for. So the past two years, I discovered a new path to follow in local. One that had all the benefits this great industry had of being able to get clients fast and had that premium paying clients that stay with you for a long time. And you can truly outsource all the work and you can be new and still see tremendous success. This is the new business model, the one that I've been following, that the most successful local marketers that I know are following. People like Chris is following, that uh, all the people that Rob's helping is following. So here's what it looks like in my own uh, agency. This is one of our clients in Rochester, New York. And Rochester, if you're not familiar, is a small city of 210,000 people. So it's not even in the top 100 U.S. cities. It's that small. And these are calls that turned into customers for a client. So you can see here, it got started in month, uh, month one, got everything set up, got the marketing campaign going, launched it, set in place the call tracking. And then here in the first two months, we doubled their business because of the marketing that we put in place. A little over 30, 30 days in, their business literally doubled. And then what happened is they saw so much success in Rochester and their business was growing so quickly. For the first time ever, they thought about expanding and they asked could they expand into Buffalo, New York. And the next month, we opened up Buffalo, New York for them with our marketing campaign. And it really took us just a couple of days to put it in place. Any other online marketing method would take months and there'd be no guarantee if it'd work for them. And now, when uh, one more month, their business doubled again. So they doubled in one month. Uh, two months later, they doubled again. So now they're generating over 200 brand new customers every single month, above and beyond what they're doing before. They're able to invest in new equipment. They got another truck for their business. They have more employees that they, they hired. And that feeling of constant worry and stress that they had every single day is now gone. And they took the first real vacation with their family since they started this business almost a decade ago. Their life will forever be changed and impacted. And that's what I love about it because of the quick impact we make with businesses' lives. So what is a business model? I'd love for you to type in what you feel that this business model is. <laughs> Some, uh... Yeah, so uh, uh, Chris did a great job uh, giving you the, the heads up before we went in. Obviously, it is local pay-per-click using Google AdWords. So what is local AdWords pay-per-click? 
Here's a model that we use, that Rob uh, uses in his half a million dollar a month business that I use in my own agency, is we find businesses that are already spending money with AdWords, but they have major problems and they are looking and wanting and needing help. You become viewed as their trusted marketing partner, which means they're going to be open to whatever other services you want to offer them. So it's very easy to upsell these in clients from the one service that you start with into a whole package of high-end, high lucrative. So why do you feel that Google AdWords with local pay-per-click is such a great opportunity? I'd love for you to type in your thoughts on why you feel it's such a great opportunity right now in today's marketplace. Chris uh, said, uh, Chris, quick results, absolutely. Vision said, stable income. Yes, it can be very stable. Gilbert, that was a great one. Not many others are doing it. We're going to tap it. To, uh, to definitely talk about that one. Fast traffic, great answer, Tony. Targeted traffic, great one, Jim. Uh, Daryl, not many companies know how to do it. Absolutely, you got that one uh, right on the nose. SEO is getting harder. Great one, Martin. Oh man, there's a t man. I can't keep up. The uh, the chat box is going so fast. You're typing in so many great answers. So there's. Let's look at why local uh, AdWords pay per click is such a great opportunity right now. First, from your perspective, is you can again start making money quickly, just like the good old days. It's back to where you can go out and first week out of the gate get a client and put money in your pocket. Also, they pay you every single month, and it's something that they can't stop paying because the results are going to disappear. Again, you don't have to be the expert if you're partnered with the right company that can do all the fulfillment for you and can look as like they're your team of experts and easily outsource the work to the people that are the experts. And you get to keep clients for a really, really, really long time. These are clients that are not going to show up one month and be gone the next month. Once you get a client, they're going to want you to stick around because they depend on the new customers that you're sending their way. So it's really sticky long-term residual income, easy to upsell and bundle other services uh, once they get started with you. And like we said before, you get to truly, really help business owners and improve their lives dramatically and the lives of their employees and the local communities that you serve. So you get to be proud and go out with passion that you're making a difference in the lives of people with every client that you go out there and get. So from the business owner's perspective, like uh, somebody said before, they get the fastest results when it comes to getting new traffic to their site and leads picking up and calling them on the phone and clients that are paying them money. And as a small business owner, fast results means everything. And this is the fastest way that you can deliver what they're looking for, which is new clients signing up for them. Another huge benefit is you get to be in control of everything. The uh, keywords that you're targeting, the ads that people are seeing, and the landing pages you're sending them to. So from the SEO world, because you don't have as much control over all these things, you might be seeing a, a 2 to 3%, maybe 5% conversion from the traffic that you're sending to your clients. With pay-per-click, because you control the landing pages and the exact ads that are being showed and the keywords you're targeting, we see in our agency, Rob sees in the companies he works with, a 25 to 50% conversion rate. So that is huge. This, just from the same amount of traffic, you're seeing 5, 10, 20 times the amount of leads coming from that traffic. Another big one is you can target keywords that you can never target with SEO. So Traditionally, like something like Dallas Emerging Plumber, that's something that you could target from the SEO perspective. But a lot of people don't type in the geographic place that they're located in. They type in something like Emergency Plumber. You can only target that with pay-per-click. So there's a huge world of opportunity that's only available to the people that are doing AdWords. So a lot more traffic for your clients and a lot more leads for them. Another great one is when you're doing call target or tracking that Chris talks about, you get to track the results for them. 
So the uh, the screenshots I showed before that was straight out of my agency's call tracking account. So you can see exactly how many calls that you're generating, how many new customers that you're sending them. And that is a huge plus for you and a huge plus for your client. That's going to be a major impact for them. And another big one is there's a lot of research showing when people are looking to make a buying decision, they end up choosing a company that they see in the ads and not in the organic results. Buyers click ads. Researchers click organic results. This is a, a, a major report put out by WordStream where they uh, – did a massive uh, in insight into this, and they found when somebody's looking to make a purchase decision, so they're looking to hire a local business, 64% end up clicking the ads and choosing a business they find in the ads. Only 35% choose the organic results. So if they're not in the pay-per-click results, they're missing out on a huge, massive amount of new customers that somebody else is getting, their competition is getting. And then at the end of the day, you are now on the the uh, good graces of Google. When you look at where Google makes money, they don't make money from the organic results, they make money from the ads. Something like 96% of their total income comes from the ads that show up uh, in uh, just like here. So when you look at where all the real estate is, here above the organic results is the ads. On the right hand side is the ads. And they keep giving more and more real estate above the fold to the ads. So they added in size extensions and all kinds of things. So if you're helping businesses successfully market themselves through AdWords, Google wants you to be successful. If you're trying to uh, game the system with the uh, SEO, you're now uh, working against Google. So we, for the first time ever, get to be on the same side as Google, and they want you to be successful because that's where they make money, and they have a major focus on small businesses being successful with AdWords. So with that, let me uh, introduce you to uh, my partner, Rob Warner, who is the owner of a company called Invisible PPC. It's the number one local pay-per-click outsourcing agency out there. And uh, like we said in the beginning, he spends over half a million dollars every month. There's actually quite a bit more than this on Google AdWords. So the clients uh, trust him with over half a million dollars of their money to do their online marketing for them. He has campaigns over 200 different local niches. So he has seen and done it all. And a major benefit, so I could tell you what's working in my agency. Chris can tell you what's working in his agency. On Rob's case, he gets to see what's working for dozens and dozens of successful agencies. And he gets the behind the scenes on what, what's just absolutely crushing right now. And you get the viewpoint of his uh, above the fold, he gets to like stand up and see the entire lay of the land of what's working for everybody, and that's just a huge, huge benefit that he brings to the table. So, uh, are you there, Rob? Hey, Kevin, I'm here. Why don't you to kind of give everybody a kind of a rundown of how you became uh, the number one outsourcing company for local uh, marketers? Because that's not what you set out to do, and in case nobody mo uh, noticed. He has one of those magical uh, UK accents that all of us <laughs> Americans uh, love. <laughs> Let me tell you, Kevin, I'll give you my story very, very quickly because as you rightly said, I did not start out to be a PPC guy. Um, in my professional career, I started out as an accountant, so I was a CFO in a big company. We did about $150 million a year. It was a big um, director level position, big car, nice salary. The only problem with all that was I hated being an accountant. It was not the world that I wanted to work in at all. On the other hand, what I actually loved was software and technology. I always have. I'm just a closet geek. Um, so I had this great idea of throwing in everything and giving up a perfectly good job and spending a quarter of a million dollars developing some mobile software which we launched in 2008 and through some contacts that I already had we secured our first five orders from local government departments and it was worth about $150,000 to us. We thought we were going to hit the jackpot. We'd got a brilliant business that was going to come to us. And then the world kind of changed. Um, for those of you who are um, over in the UK or familiar, this is David Cameron. He's the UK Prime Minister and was from May the 5th. 
And the first thing he did when he came into office, if you recall that sort of time a few years ago in the times of sort of recession and the economy was terrible, he cancelled all our orders. Every single order was cancelled in a week, which gave us a problem because we'd already spent all our development money, we'd got no orders, and now all the people who were our prospects were no longer allowed to buy from us because they weren't spending any money in government. And we got our sales through mutual contacts. We didn't know how to sell. I was an accountant and I was running the business. So we did what every good geek would do. Um, we didn't want to talk to other human beings. We went out and we bought some Google ads and we made some sales for our product. And that was a phenomenal sort of thing for us at the time. Um, what we found then was a strange thing. Other people started asking how we were doing it. Started saying, how do you do this? Uh, these AdWords things and asked if we, they could pay us to do it. And I really didn't want to do that because I wanted to be a software guy. But my software company was still losing lots and lots of money. Um, so we had no choice. I had to take on a few clients and I was very, very reluctant. Didn't like selling, but I kind of reluctantly grew to about 10 clients. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Um, September 2011, um, I had to, the worst day of my life when I had to tell my wife and two teenage daughters, we had no money. Um, we, our house may have been gone and we needed a solution fast and I will remember that day forever. And the answer to us came sort of in a very, very unlikely way. Um, because I had to get some clients quickly. I had no choice now. I couldn't be the software guy. I'd got to get some business. And I didn't know where I was going to get it. And I got really, really lucky. Um, I had a colleague, or a guy I just knew as an acquaintance, who was a salesman for a, an SEO company. Um, but his company didn't offer pay-per-click. So we had the deal that we said, OK, if he d brought his clients in, who he was already selling SEO and web stuff to, and he talked to them, and I talked technical about pay-per-click, we would jointly sell them on pay-per-click advertising. And then I would do all the work. Um, I had no idea at the time. I only found afterwards that this apparently was called outsourcing. Um, and that was the birth of our agency. That was how we got start started as an AdWords agency. As I say, it wasn't planned. But what happened was that three years later, that's turned into the single best decision we ever made. Um, that we've now got experience with big agencies, with small agencies, in pretty much every country, everywhere, with 200 industries, a tiny budget campaign, you know, $500 a month, right up to $50,000 a month. And because of the way we work, we've been involved right through the process. You know, we've sat done the prep sales material, we've sat on the sales presentations, we've engaged in the sales presentations, we've brought the client programs on board, we've done all the delivery, the fulfillment, and all the reporting. And so we've accumulated a huge amount of knowledge that now no other agency as a single agency has actually got. We're, we're in a very unusual position. And what we got out of that, if we distill all of that four years into the really, really key stuff that matters, is we know what makes a good prospect and we know what makes a bad one. And trust me, the bad ones you want to avoid. We know where to find them and how to find the pain that these prospects have and then deliver that pain in a compelling sales presentation that makes them take action. We know how to close the deal and then deliver a service to get really good results for the client. And when we deliver that good service, we keep the right clients for the long term. And we're talking, you know, years and beyond. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Robin. Now let's dig into the business model of exactly how this world works of going out and getting clients that are already doing AdWords. So we're going to go through what the model looks like, and then we're going to show you exactly how to do it. Some live demonstrations and everything. So you can leave this uh, webinar being able to take instant action on this. So the focus that we found uh, in my own agency, all the agencies that Rob's work with that are having the most success is they focus on businesses that are already doing Google AdWords advertising because they have already bought into the concept that they need to be spending money advertising online. So you don't have to sell them on why they should be moving their advertising budget online or why they should be spending money at, at all. They've already done that. But the great thing for you and me is 
almost every, like we say nine, really it's more like 9.999 out of every local business doing Google pay-per-click right now is has horrible, severely troubled campaigns. They're overpaying Google at least three to five times, maybe even as much as ten times of what they should be paying, not getting nearly the many uh, leads and customers. So example is they might be paying $12 for every click, and if it's properly managed, they should be paying $2 per click. And what you're going to find when you start talking to these companies is they know that they have problems, but they don't really know what the problem is. They can't really grasp their mind around it. It's, it's kind of a complicated thing, but they know that it's not right. And when you start showing them how much money they're wasting, they hate. As a small business, they absolutely despise wasting money. So when you're showing them that how much money they're wasting, that's tapping into a massive pain point for them that you can solve. So what you want to do is focus on the right businesses. Those are spending at least $5,000 a month or more a month in Google AdWords. And you're going to do a, some simple research to find these ads that have glaring problems. And we're actually going to show you live how to find ads with horrible problems. And if you can visually see problems in their ads, you can be almost completely certain that there's way more problems going on underneath the hood that you can't see. So you send them a short email with a video pointing out some of these glaring problems that is causing them to waste money and miss out on, on opportunity that they should be capturing. And then offer them a free audit of their account where the audit can actually be done for you so you don't have to do the audit yourself. So this is an easy thing for the business owner to say yes. You're not trying to sell them anything. You're trying to provide value up front. It's risk-free for them. There's no obligation. They can take that audit and, and fix the problems themselves. But what always happens is they want you to fix it after you point it out to them. So then you represent the results of all the problems in their account, the amount of uh, money that they're wasting, the missed opportunity they have, and what's going to happen is they're going to want you to fix those problems for you. And we're going to show you exactly how to have that conversation here in just a little bit. So you end up charging a management fee of anywhere from $750 to $1,500 or more a month. So when you, their campaign is properly managed, they're going to start paying a lot less for every click that they get, which means they can spend uh, a lot more money to get a lot more clicks. So they're paying less while getting a more leads, so they're making more money while paying less money. It's a totally irresistible offer. You're asking because the savings that you're going to offer them is far greater than whatever they're going to pay you to fix all the problems in their account. So it's one of those just irresistible offers that's impossible for a business to say no to because you're going to cut out all the waste, create more opportunities, so grow their revenue, and it's going to be far superior than whatever they're going to pay you to fix it. Then you outsource the work for around $300 a month. We're going to show you how what your actual margins would be and, and how the financials work, work out, but you're left with a 50% or greater profit margin from every client that you get. And you don't have to worry about doing all the work. It's done for you, so you can focus all your time on getting clients and maintain that relationship. And when they start seeing quick results, which they will, they become a very happy business owner, which means they have a high level of trust with you. And some people are asking before, okay, what are some great things to upsell them in? And here's what we found is mobile. So if they don't have a mobile website, definitely upsell them in a mobile website. If they're not doing SEO, it's very easy to upsell them into SEO because you know exactly which uh, keywords are getting the best results for them right now. Display ads, reputation is a, a, a no-brainer for them to do, social media. So you can easily take a $1,000 customer up to $2,500 or even $5,000 or more once you've proven that the results that you're able to produce on the front end and now they trust you and you can easily upsell them into all these other services. So why is this such a big opportunity right now for, for you and me to tap into? The reality is Google pay-per-click is very complicated. You need to go through a lot of training and have a lot of experience to be effective at it. So most business owners starting out, they either did it themselves or they had an inexperienced staff member try and do it for them. And with AdWords first being complicated to begin with, and then it's constantly changing. Last year, over 250 changes took place took place. So there's absolutely no way that a plumber could stay on top of how to manage their AdWords account properly. So they definitely need monthly management. So they go in and hire one of the, either they keep trying to do it themselves and are just failing miserably, 
or they try and get one of the local pay-per-click management companies to do them, and guaranteed it's going to be horrible because here's what they all look like. The account rep that's responsible for managing their client's accounts is going to go through a two-week training course, and now they're supposed to be an expert, and they're going to be anywhere from 120 to 200 or more accounts that they're managing every single month. So the, there's just no time for them to manage that many accounts. So they're going to rush through setting it up. They're not going to look at it on an ongoing basis. They're not going to do any improvements. And they just have a complete churn and burn approach to local businesses. And Rob Seema has had a 100% success rate finding significant problems. I mean, I guess I'll let you speak to that because you've seen a lot of accounts that you've done audits for that are under professional management. And what's your, been your experience with that? Um, it's really, really interesting, Kevin. Every single account that we have seen under professional management has had problems with it. The smallest problems we've ever found are 10% saving opportunities immediately. And to, I'll give you an example that we had a few months ago. We had an account spending $25,000 a month that we audited that was professionally managed, and 15000 of that spend was total waste from a professionally managed firm. That's the quality of some of the agencies that we're seeing out there. The worst case we've seen was 96% waste of an ad spend. Yeah, so even in, in my case, if it's under a professional management from one of the large local paperwork companies, that's an easy client to get because we know they're just not getting nearly the kind of results that they're looking for. And if they're doing them themselves, then they're going to be very frustrated with the, uh, the results because they don't know how to manage it properly. So here's what the, sim the steps look like to get these uh, clients. Is you're going to find glaringly bad AdWords campaigns. We're going to show you how to do that right now in just a couple minutes. You're going to send them an email with a video pointing out the problems and offering your free audit. You're going to do that audit for the business owners that want it. And you can use Rob's team. They can actually do the audits for you for free or you can do them yourself. And in that audit, you're going to point out all the money that they're wasting and how many reduced opportunities of leads that they're not getting that their competition is getting instead. Present this as a proposal with all these problems, and you're tapping into such tremendous pain that they have of their hard-earned money just being completely wasted and thrown into the garbage, and they're not getting nearly the number of new customers that they should be getting, and show them a pathway to get dramatically better results. It's that irresistible offer. So the majority of those clients are going to close, collect the money up front, so they're going to pay you first, and then they're going to pay you every single month ongoing after that, and then you outsource the work. So you're always cash flow positive in this business, and then you just send them a simple monthly report. You use Rob's teams. They can do that work for you, and they, they send you a report. You forward it on to them. It's all branded to you, so it looks, even though if you're just a uh, agency of one person, you have a team, a huge team, a successful uh pay-per-click experts behind you that looks like it's your own team. And then if you want, you can upsell them to other online marketing services and dramatically increase your revenues ongoing. So to simplify that, here's what it looks like. First, you do the research to find businesses that have bad campaigns right now. Send those businesses an email with a short video. Then audit, do the audit, point out all the problems, and proposal on how you can fix it for them. And then close that deal, collect the money up front and every single month, and then outsource the work so you'd have to do it yourself, and then upsell them in other services. So now that you know what the business looks like, let's look at what's actually possible in two different scenarios. So there's some people on here that you're already successful in local marketing. You already have a base of clients. So, Rob, from your experience of all the agencies you work with, the ones that are already having a base of clients and doing local marketing, what's the... Uh, typical results that, or not typical, but what could they expect when they start to making this shift? Sure, Kevin. Well, what we found is those guys that are out there that have a client base already that may have sold other services or they're out there, they're actively prospecting, they will typically bring in three to five new clients for pay-per-click every week. Um, sometimes it might be slightly more, sometimes slightly less, but it averages out at three to five per week. And um, we see that going on fairly regularly. And as you can see here, on screen now we have a guy called Kyle Battis. Um, Kyle is a sales guy who sells in a small agency up in New Hampshire, 
and he consistently brings in those new clients. And if anybody thinks that um, Kyle's got a huge big team behind him, Kyle, you're looking at the entire sales team on screen now. It's Kyle. So what if somebody is just brand new and getting started in this business? What would that look like? Well, if you're brand new, obviously you're not going to bring in three to five to start with because the three to five partly will come to you through referrals. Um, do a good job that clients will refer more clients. But you can easily go out and get one to two new clients a week without a problem if you're new to doing pay-per-click marketing. And for example here, Jenny. Jenny is a lovely lady down in Australia who has only got herself, has no team, follows a good prospecting process and brings in new prospects every week. And they build and they build and they build. All right, so now that you understand the what the business model looks like, next we're going to show you how to do this business. But do you like the business model that now that you understand this huge untapped opportunity that's sitting out there for all of us to tap into? Just go ahead and type into the, uh, the chat box if you like this business model and it gets you excited to go after businesses that are wasting a ton of money, need help, and are already spending money on AdWords. And the uh, yeses are... Uh, App or flowing in. I like yeah, Rick here with the, uh, all caps and a ton of exclamation points. Uh, oh, thanks, Steve. I love that you uh, enjoy helping business owners who waste money. Yeah, you're make it going to make a huge impact on on their uh, business. All right, so we're going to show you two different ways to do this. First, we're going to show you the old-fashioned way. This is how Rob's best agencies are getting three to five client clients a week. So first is, um, Rob, who have you found the best to work with as far as the types of businesses or industries to go after? Right. We're looking for a few criteria that will tell us if the businesses are going to be people that we can help. So typically we're looking for businesses that have high customer values. So people who spend a lot of money in a single transaction. Um, we're looking for businesses who are in markets where there is search for them. So we're looking for things that people search for on a regular basis. And we're looking for markets that are competitive because you want there to be other advertisers fighting for those ad clicks. And we also want repeat purchases. So it might be that the initial transaction value isn't that high, um, but if they buy something regularly, the customer value over a period of time can be really high. So if we can get any two of those four criteria met, we know we've got a very good AdWords prospect. And let's give you some real life examples. Um, attorneys. Uh, now attorneys have incredibly high client values in some sectors. Um, they also have high search volume and it's hugely competitive. Attorney clicks are very, very expensive. You don't tend to get repeat purchases, but because we get the other three, it works for us. If we look at health, um, Health-related niches, dentists, let's start there for example. Dentists, you will have a higher client customer, customer value and don't forget with a dental practice, it isn't just something called dentists, they will buy potentially implants, veneers, emergency treatment, pediatric treatment for children. There's lots of things that come with acquiring a single customer for a dentist. Um, they have high search volume, there's lots of competition. Similar with cosmetic surgery, at the high transaction values and they have customers who keep coming back and they refer their friends and their friends refer friends. So bring those in and they work very well. If we look at emergency niches, like emergency locksmith for example, now that transaction value isn't necessarily as high. Um, but it's highly competitive and it's highly sought after because you can be sure that if you're locked out of your house or your car and you do a Google search on your mobile for, a, for an emergency locksmith, the ad comes up with a click to call phone button on the ad, you are going to call and you are going to convert. The conversion rates in those markets are incredibly, incredibly high, sort of 70% conversion rates. And things like home related markets, so replacement roofs, um, you know, plumbing, HVAC, all those markets, they're high value and they have high search volume, it's competitive, and the customers will keep coming back. So if you get a, a home-related thing, that customer might stay with you for, for servicing for the next 10 years. So they're great markets to go for. 
And a great thing is so here's four categories, but each of these categories have a ton of like sub niches within them. So with attorneys, there's about 12 different niches within the attorney category. Health related, there's several dozen niches within the health related. Same thing with emerging niches, home related, each also has a couple dozen. So in these four groups, you're looking at over a hundred different niches that you can focus on. And here in the US, that's probably close to uh, probably several hundred thousand businesses in just these four categories. So the opportunity is massive. So here's an example of Jamil who got started with this business model just a little bit ago. Never had a, a client in local marketing before. His very first client, he said, I just got a client 10 minutes ago for $2,100 setup. So $1,700 profit and $960 a month recurring. 710 of that is profit every single month. The setup is for landing pages, designed, and a mobile website in addition to the normal account setup fee. The ad spend is only 2000 per month, so it's not even at the 5000 or higher level that we recommend that you focus on. His client is only 2000 per month, and he charged him $2,100 up front to get set up and going, and then 960 a month recurring. And this is in the, uh, the attorney niche. He didn't mention it in here, but it was a, a DUI attorney, and is the very first client that he has ever got within a couple of weeks of getting started in this business. So then where do you go to find these businesses? The simple answer, Kevin, is you do a really basic search. <laughs> so you'll do a search for a keyword in a location like Chiropractor Dallas. Simple as that. And then what are you looking for when you do this, these searches? Well, what we're looking for is we're looking for obvious problems. And guys, if you haven't been taking notes so far, take some notes now because you're going to get a checklist that if you just work down this, you could go out and look for prospects immediately. So you're looking for ads that are for businesses in a different city. Um, you'd be surprised how often you see them. You're looking for ads that are for unrelated products or services. Um, so you've searched for one thing, the advertise advertising something completely different. We're looking for bad ad copy, so there's no call to action, there's no personality, and we're looking for unoptimized ads. Google gives you lots of options with ads now to add extra things into your ad, like an address, a phone number, extra links called site links. Lots of advertisers don't use them, and their ads suffer as a result. And another sin that we often see is ads that go to a home page instead of a proper landing page. And what we know is, if an ad campaign, an ad has got one problem, as Kevin said earlier, it's, it's, it's the tip of the iceberg. That bad ad is usually a very strong sign that underneath their campaign, they've got lots of problems, they're going to be paying far too much, and there's a pretty good chance that they will know already and they don't know how to solve the problem. Yeah, so they don't have to have all these problems above. They just need to have one of those for you to know that they, there's a lot more problems that you can't see, and they're a great prospect to go uh, focus on. So can you show uh, some examples of what this looks like in the real world? Sure, no problem. I'll just Let's wait for you to switch the screen over. Make you the presenter. There you go. Okay. Can you see my screen? You should see some searches, hopefully. Yep, I can see it just fine. Excellent. Right. What I've done here is I've just put a couple of searches on screen. So, dentist that we were talking about a moment ago. Cosme I've done a search for a cosmetic dentist in Boston. Now, cosmetic surgeons, dentists rather, are typically spending upwards of 3000 possibly as much as 10000 We've had dentists spending 15000 a month. Um, Let's have a look at this first ad. Now, first ad, premium position. One thing we notice immediately on this ad, um, and tell me if you can spot the first thing that's wrong with this ad. How do you think dentists get most of their inquiries um, in 2014 and going into 2015? Michael says no extensions. You've got it, phone number. There is no phone number extension on the ad. And we know from the data, phone calls are by far bigger than online form submissions for dentists nowadays. 
There's no phone number. That's the prime spot. They also, as been pointed out, have no site link extensions, which are these links here that you can see. They're paying top dollar for this, and they have not even got the ad optimized. And read the ad copy. It's not exciting. It's not engaging. Schedule an appointment today is hardly a great call to action. Let's look down here. This one's got some site links, still no phone number, still no exciting copy. This one here, no site links, no phone number. None of them are using an address extension. Um, really not exciting. Going down this page, you could easily see one, two, three, four, and look at this one here. We talked about adverts for people in the wrong, wrong city. Look at this one. This one's a London ad because I'm in the UK. It's absolute and utter waste. So from that list there of 11 ads that are on that first page, there's probably eight strong leads there of people spending three to 12,000 a month. So let's have a look at another example, cosmetic surgeon in Miami. Now again, let's look at this very first ad. Again, we've still got no phone number, but look what they've done here. They've put their name in the title. It is the single most boring thing you could possibly put in an ad headline. It's uninteresting, it's uninspiring. And they're paying a huge, huge premium for this. Look at this second one. Um, I've searched for cosmetic surgery. Someone's trying to help me get botched surgery fixed. And look at the typing here. There isn't even a space because they've run out of characters. That looks really, really amateur. And other people have taken a different approach. Um, look what this guy down here has done. Um, they've started assuming, these two here, that I want liposculpture or liposculpting. They don't know whether I'm male, female, they don't know what I want, which part of my body I want work on. They've taken a guess and there's a good chance they will be wrong. On this page, for plastic surgeons who are generally spending upwards of $5,000 a month, five to 10 is a good range for a cosmetic surgeon. Again, seven to eight of these have got bad ads that could be improved. Hey, Rob, Let's move up. Uh, Cheryl okay. asked a good question. Is so if the these top ads are bad ads, why is it Google pushing them down uh, further in the results on the into the right hand side and putting better ads up front? Could you explain uh, how the where that waste uh, and higher expense comes into play there? Sure. What you do, your ad is a combi your ad position is a combination of two things. One is is something called ad rank, which is a like a quality, a relevance measure of your ad. Um, the other is your bid. So if you've got a bad relevance score, a bad ad quality, how do you get to the top? You bid more. You pay more to be there. Google will let you have run bad ads at the top of the page if you pay them more to do so. So that's how these guys do it. And you could have that if this was a really well optimized ad. Um, in fact, if if that was really well optimized, the first ad that could be paying one third of the cost of this ad in second spot, despite being first, just by being optimized. So that's how it works. You pay more to do it. Yeah. So that's where the waste comes into play. They're paying absolutely two to three times the amount what they should be paying. So they're just wasting a ton of money right now. Absolutely. And each one of these clicks is probably ten dollars. So it's a big, expensive market. If we move into the next one, which is family lawyers, this is even more expensive. And again, we've got, for the first time here, we're seeing a phone number. We're actually seeing a phone number here. So we've got one there, but not a site link in sight, not an ad extension. Um, here, we've got a UK-based ad, which is just nonsense. And look over here, people from New Jersey. Now, I appreciate they're not the other side of the country, but that shouldn't be there. That's a bad ad. It's really obviously a bad ad. And I've searched for family lawyer. Now, let's have a look down here. Uh, this one here, child custody lawyer. Type in the chat box for me. What do you think I would be likely to put into my search if I wanted a child custody lawyer? <laughs> yeah, you guys have got it. I certainly wouldn't be typing family lawyer if I wanted a child custody lawyer. I might use a little bit of a brain and start with the world child custody lawyer. So you get just how obviously, shockingly bad these are. Legal clicks, generally, 
Uh, again, these are $5,000 and up campaigns in legal, $30 per click, sometimes in legal up as high as $50 per click. And we've got people advertising in the wrong city and the wrong service. And finally, just a complete change of pace, roof replacement. Um, I'm over the other side of the country now up in Seattle. Um, again, if we look at this one here, look at, let's look at this third ad, roof repairs. I didn't want, I've, I've searched for roof replacement, I didn't want a roof repair and if I did want any of these things I might like to phone, I might like to call, I might like that option. So again, one, two, three, four, five, we could go down the page, There's, again seven or eight, so if you're looking for leads for pay per click, you've had four screens worth of promising leads. There's probably 30 leads on those four pages that we've just found in a few minutes following that simple list that I gave you a few minutes ago of looking for obvious errors. Nothing complicated. And again, roofing, it's a $3,000 a month plus campaign. <laughs> Peter uh, pointed out, did you see the ad that had the square footage of his clinic? So they, uh, I did. Thought... I did notice that one, yes. <laughs> so, this one here, um, 3,000 square foot clinic. Well, thank goodness for that. I will go to them. <laughs> I don't like those 2,000 square foot clinics. So here in a matter of just a couple of minutes, we found, like, how many uh, bad ads do you think we found? Maybe uh, two dozen or, or more? Yeah, there was about seven, seven, 11 ads on each page, and I could easily argue that seven to eight of each of those on that page were bad ads. So there's, call it 25 on those four. So you can see how there's this opportunity sitting all over the place right now with this because nobody is focusing on this right now in the, the local marketing space. So this is a wide open opportunity because there's a ton of businesses spending money every single month on AdWords and nobody's out there specifically focused on approaching them and helping them optimize their campaigns effectively. All right, let me switch back the uh, presentation here. And then we'll show you the next steps to how to convert these into your own clients. All right, there we go. Let me get the uh, chat box back here. So the next step is you need to get their email address so you can uh, send them that message with the video uh, in it. So the simplest way that we found is actually just pick up the phone and give them a quick call using a 60-second script talking to the other uh, person who answers it. 70% uh, of the time, you're going to get their phone number. And this is something you can easily outsource. I know Chris talks about how to outsource. This is something you can have somebody do for practically nothing to get all the uh, – email addresses you want. Then you just, uh, another way is you can use your contact page to find it there, betterwhois.com. You can see who owns the website, uh, their business. Monta.com is a, a business directory you can use. LinkedIn.com and then also their Facebook business page is another place to find it. So once you have their email, you, or email address, you send them an email that links to a video that's pointing out and explaining the problems that they have. So it's just a short video, about a couple minutes long, about you notice some problems with their ad that's causing them to waste a lot of money and not getting near the number of leads that they have. Then you have a call to action and in that video is the free AdWords audit. So there's no obligation to them, so you're going to give them a lot of value first and they can take this audit and fix the problems if they want themselves or they can use, use it to fix it. The great news is nobody wants to try and fix it themselves. You When you see how we uh, position yourselves in the, the sales meeting, which you're going to cover next, it, that's why it has such a high close rate because it's positioning yourself uh, expertly. Then you want to track who opens the emails and who clicks on it. So you can use a service like pointofmail.com because you want to follow up with each group. So if, they, if you send them an email and they haven't opened it, you want to follow up with that person differently if you send an email and they open the email but they haven't clicked the link. That's going to be a different group to follow up with. And if they got the email, they open it, they click the link, but they haven't replied back to request their audit, then that's a different follow-up sequence. So you're going to have four different groups that you follow up with ongoing. So the audit you're going to use a thing called Google's My Client Center, or MCC. Don't worry, it's free service for you, and this just allows you to gain access to their account to do the audit. They're going to give you a 10-digit number. It's going to look just like that. 
and it's going to grant you access to audit their account for them. And you're just going to follow the checklist that Ed or uh, uh, Rob has, or you can have Rob's team do these for free for, free for you as if you want. If you do it yourself, it's going to take you about 30 minutes of your time. If you have Rob's team do, does it, then it's going to take zero of your time to have it all outsourced. So now that you see the, the process, the manual process of how to do this, would you like all of that automated for you as well? So instead of having to manually do everything that we covered up to this point, every step of that way is automated. <laughs> yeah, obviously, uh, obviously that's going to be a yes for everybody. We all want to automate as much of the manual work as process as possible. So we're going to show you how to do that after we show you how to close the deal. So now we want to complete it. You got a lead. You got somebody that wants to do the audit. How do you close that into a client? So we're going to show you how to close a deal, and then we're going to show you how to automate the entire process. So this is really your expertise of working with so many agency owners. You've dialed in the uh, the sales process to a science. So could you walk people through how to close the deals at an eighty percent success rate? Absolutely, been my pleasure. And guys, again, what I'm about to tell you is everything that we've learned over such a long period of time, and it is not complicated. Anybody can do this. Um, so here's what we do. You do not need to be in the same room as a prospect. You do not need to be in the same city as a prospect. Um, when, you're pr when you're presenting your audit findings, here's how you do it. You can do it over the phone just as easily. So start off with just some polite thank yous for the opportunity. You will tell the prospect that you've done completed the audit and you found some really interesting opportunities for them. Nothing complicated so far. You're then going to ask them three critical questions. And the first one of those questions is How do you feel your AdWords campaign is performing for you right now? And that is so key because what they will do is, and the word feel matters is they will tell you how it feels. They will say, oh, it feels really expensive. It's costing me a lot of money. I don't feel like I'm getting enough phone calls. I should be getting more leads. My agency doesn't talk to me often enough. I have difficulty getting changes. Or I'm really struggling and I don't understand it. They will tell you what their, what their pain is now. And you can scribble notes furiously because you will understand what their problems feel like for them and what you need to solve for them. You then cast forward and you say, okay, what would it need to look like a year from now for you to feel it's being successful? And again, they'll tell you and they'll smile when they tell you, oh, if I had you know, three more phone calls a day or I wasn't spending so much money on it or my, or my account manager rang me up every two weeks to have a conversation about it or I got a report promptly, they will tell you what they're looking for you to achieve. And that's fantastic because you can use it in the rest of the presentation. And the critical question when you've got that piece of information is this. Who manages your AdWords account? Now, you may already know this. And if you don't get it, make sure you find out now. And here's why. If they manage it in-house, the last thing you want to do when you're presenting your audit findings is turn around and say to them, oh, you've made a terrible mistake here, or this is all wrong and you need to change all of this, it's a disaster, you're going to alienate them. You say things like, we found a problem here, this is a new feature in AdWords, you might not be aware of it. We've seen that this area hasn't had as much attention as it might get. There are opportunities there. And you can soften the language up and keep them on your side and you're their friend. If, on the other hand, it's an external management company, then your language is completely different. And you start now to talk about, well, you know, we found this. I'm surprised your agency didn't tell you about it. We noticed that this wasn't working right. Uh, usually, we'd expect a professional management firm to fix that. And your language is different, and it keeps the client on side, and it allows you to have maximum impact. And if it's an external agency, every time you say, we're surprised or we found this, your expert status goes up, the agencies goes down. So it positions you brilliantly for the real meat of the presentation, which is the audit findings. And here's how we do this. Now, if you think this has to be complicated and has to be a 30-pack slide deck, it doesn't. Um, in four bullet points, we've summarized the whole process here. 
So here's what we like to present. And we can do this verbally. We don't need slide backup, but you can use them if you want. We can say, in the last 30 days, you spent $10,000 on AdWords. Of this, we estimate 3000 to be waste. Now, after those first two sentences, you have absolutely got their attention. Um, they, are, they are listening to everything you say. Um, you then say, oh, and because of that waste, we have also missed out on 25, 30 opportunities in the last month. And those opportunities will have gone to one of your competitors whose ad campaign is more efficient. Can you imagine how that feels from the business owner's perspective? I've just wasted a lot of money. I've missed out on my prospects. And my competitor, who is more efficient than me, has got them instead. We have, on many occasions, had prospects at that point going, OK, how do we get started? What do you need to do to fix this for me? And that's a brilliant conversation to be having at that point in a presentation. We then say, oh, by the way, we've found a lot of other things in the account that are wrong and are impacting performance and are quite technical. You make it sound complicated. And then we move on to showing them the pathway and a proposal. And what we're going to do now is use everything we've learned so far, which is we're going to reflect back all those problems and we're going to make them the irresistible offer. So we're going to say, to stop the first problem we found, we're going to do this. To stop the second problem, we're going to do this to stop that waste. We're going to implement something new, and that's going to improve your conversion rates. And then all those other technical things, we're going to start and fix them for you. And in each time you present one of these, you say, we're going to do this to stop the waste so that you will save your money, so that you will get more leads, so your competition won't get the leads. You're using it, reflecting it back. And you then make them the irresistible offer, which is that your fee to do this work will be less than their savings and missed opportunities. It's a really simple process. Tell me, quick question, who likes this, this process so far in terms of who thinks they could deliver that kind of presentation, that degree of simplicity? <laughs> Chris says it's a complete no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. People are saying good, very good. Yeah, me, yeah, me. So there's nothing in that that you have to be an expert of. You just nope. have to take the audit and know how to ask the right questions and then repeat back to them their pain that they have and the opportunities that they want to capture. Exactly. And you have the audit all documented in front of you. Your prospect doesn't. They may not have been in the same room. You've got a document. They haven't. So then we have the proposal. And the proposal is basically a summary of everything you've just said. You summarize the key problems, you explain the steps that you're going to use to fix them all the time, you relate back to lowering costs, getting more leads, and you make it sound difficult. All right, so let's talk about pricing and how to price your services. So at a minimum, if they're a small account, so sometimes you're going to find uh, businesses that are advertising for less than 5000 or less than 2000 So you want to have a minimum fee that you charge regardless of how small it is. So it might be anywhere from 500 to to $1,000 a month. As it grows, you're going to start getting paid a percentage of their ad spend if this is a medium to large accounts. It might range anywhere from 10 to 25% of their ad spend. Industry average is around 15%. So if they're spending $12,000 a month, 15% of that's $1,800. Uh, what were some of uh, the, the larger ones that's come through from members yesterday, Rob? Just to give like a feel of some of the ranges. <laughs> well, yesterday was a really interesting day. Um, we had uh, one came through at $10,000 a month spend. And that was for, I won't name the name, but a, an absolute A-list worldwide celebrities charity foundation. We had one came through at $15,000 for a lawyer, and we had one came through at $25,000, all within about three hours of each other. Yeah, so it's definitely you can go out and get uh, even ones bigger than $5,000 a month in ad spend. So in my own agency, we, uh, we, we focus on um, uh, industry specifically, and we charge a premium because we're the best out there. So uh, for us, it's anywhere from 50% for small accounts all the way down to 25% for the largest ones. And we show you exactly how to properly price your, your services. 
So then on the outsourcing side, it's on average is going to be uh, at worst case 50% of what you charge or less. So that means you still have great margins left over for yourself. So if it's going to cost you, let's say, $300 to fulfill it from the outsourcing cost standpoint, you're going to mark it up to 700 to 850 or more. And then the monthly reporting that you give back to your, your client to show the results that they're getting, that's going to be provided by your outsourcer like Rob's team. So let's look at some example costs and profits to you. So if it's a small client, because you might come across these sometimes of an ad budget of $1,000 or up or around the $1,000 range, your cost is going to be around $175. You're going to charge them four to 500 so a profit of two to $300. If it's a little bit larger, around the $2,500 a month ad budget that they're spending, your cost for that might be around $250. You might charge the client $500 to $750, so you're left for the profit of $250 to $500. And now these bottom two, this is more the range that you want to be focusing on. And that way you learn how to get these clients in, the, in our training and our, our program is a $5,000 ad budget. Your cost to outsource that's going to be around $400. And you're going to be charging the client anywhere from $850 to $1,200. So you're left with a profit, $450 to $800 every single month. And you're not having to do any uh, ongoing work once you uh, set up the account with the outsourcing company like Rob. Now if it starts to be one of the larger accounts, like $10,000 or above, your uh, cost for that might be around $700 and up. You're going to be charged a client at least $1,500 or more, and your monthly profit is over $800. So it only takes a couple of these clients, and you're making a full-time income in this business. So here's, uh, if you're just brand new, starting out part-time, what does the next 120 days, the next four, mo four months look like? So starting out, you're not going to be hitting the ground. Absolutely, uh, you're going to have to learn a few things. So your first month, you might get two new clients. And the average fee is $750, monthly revenue $1,500, your cost of your profit left over after your first month is $900 that you put in your pocket. Next month, let's say you get to the point where you're just getting one client each week. So we're going to be conservative about this. So your profit now of your new clients plus the existing ones, $4,500 a month, and then a profit of $2,700. Here, next month, you're going to get better at getting clients. You're going to find better uh, value clients. You're going to charge more. So your average fee is going to go up for these new clients. And then month four, you now have four from each of these uh, months plus the two in the beginning. Average fee of 1000 so $12,500. A profit of $7,700. So you could be at a full-time level in just a couple months out from here, starting out part-time. So if you're established, you're going to get uh, a lot more clients. So your first month, you might get six clients. Average fee of 1000 and the bottom for line profit your first month, 3800 and then you're going to start getting more clients. And then you're going to start charging a higher average fee because you're more efficient at getting better clients. So at the end of four months, if you're established in doing this and you already have a framework to hit the ground running quickly, you might get up to $40,000 with your base of clients and a, a net profit of $2,500 after that. So a number of people are asking about upselling and what kind of things can you upsell. So the obvious one is landing pages. This is something I know Chris has talked a lot about is you definitely want to be doing landing pages for your clients. And most clients that you come across absolutely need landing pages. They're, they're sending it to their home page or a, a poorly designed page on their site, so they need this. So you can charge anywhere from three to $500 up front mobile website if they don't have a mobile website they absolutely need one if they're going to be doing advertising on mobile devices reputation marketing is a great one to bundle in with this because it's going to increase the results they get from their AdWords campaign if they have more good reviews online and then SEO is a no-brainer because you're gonna after 30 days you know exactly which keywords are producing the best results for them because of the AdWords campaign, driving the, the call tracking, you're going to see exactly what's working. And now you can say, hey, here's the keywords. Let's go do a organic listings for these as well. And we're going to double up your results from both sides of it. So that's a very easy one to upsell them into. So how much time is it going to take you to get a client? The research phase, let's say you're, you're focused on 50 new contacts a week. It's going to take two to five hours each week to get 50 contacts doing that research part that we walked you through. Uh, creating the video for each of those contacts and sending them email, let's say 20 minutes per contact, so 15 to 20 hours a week. 
following up with them based on how they're interacting with you, five to ten minutes per contact, so that five to eight hours a week, and then doing the audit is about 20 minutes to actually audit their account for them and create the proposal. Then you're going to need to present it, close it, and then start outsourcing about 60 minutes to do that. So what, getting one client a week following the manual process is definitely doable, but it's almost a full-time job. So, so what if you're able to automate and then have that entire process done for you? So the research phase is 100% automated to find the ideal prospects for you. Creating the video and emailing your prospects, 100% automated. The audit is 100% automated. The proposal is done for you so you don't have to do it yourself. Closing, that's the one thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to talk to the, uh, the, the prospects either over the phone or in person, close the deal, and the outsourcing is done for you, and the landing page upgrade is, can be done for you as well. So Rob, could you walk them through how you solve the major problem for your agency owners, which is you created a software that automates all the things that people were doing manually? Are you there, Rob? Might be sure, needed. no problem at all, Kevin. Oh, I'll just wait for the screen to come over to me. Okay. Let's see. Make a presenter. There you go. Okay, you should see my screen. Um, I'm hoping you're seeing the right screen. Yes. Okay. Here's what we did. Um, some of our agency owners were asking us, you know, how could they grow their business more quickly? What would be the most efficient way to prospect and so knowing that we already have a model that works we found the best way of automating it and this is what we built a software tool called boost my PPC and here's how we use it we start with a search in the same way we went to Google before this is exactly the same except it's automated and what we can do in here is I'm gonna put in a search for a search item and a city we could, if we wanted, put 10 keywords in here. I'm just going to put one in for now. So I'm going to do for a CPA, I'm going to go to Google USA, to google.com, and I'm going to do a search. What that's going to do now is going to go out to Google, and it's going to find for me all the people advertising on the term CPA. In this case, in Portland, it's found seven results, and it's scored their ads for me. So when I went through my checklist before, it has automatically gone away and scored all of the ads with a score out of 55. So we can see this column here, 20, 22, 20, 19, 12, really weak scores. So what I will do is I will click, and I will put those in my prospects list because I know all these people have got bad ad scores. And I hit save. If I now go to my prospects list, what the tool is now going to go and do is it's going to go away and it's going to find email addresses wherever it can for these particular um, businesses because we, we know we need to get an email address. From. That will take a few minutes to run, so I'm not going to sit around waiting for that to happen. Um, in the meantime, if I want, I can call these businesses up and get a, get a phone number for them, uh, sorry, get an email address from them, rather than what, using a scraped email address, because we all know people put info out on their websites, and that's fine, but if you can actually call them and say, I'd like to send you an email about your Google ad, could you tell me who, what email address I should send it to, they will tell you. And to make that easier, we put a little up button on here, if you click that button, it takes you straight through to their website, and away you go get the number, uh, get the email address rather, and we put it in here. We can put a name in as well, so we can address it personally, and we can just save that. And when we've done that, we can then send emails out. And what we can do is we send an email that we automatically generate for you. You choose when to send it by pressing the send mail button, um, and it sends that email for you. And that email is personalized to them, contains a link to a video review of their advert. So here's an example. Now, it looks like this. Now, this is one of our presenters. We have several presenters in our system with different accents and different um, male, female. I'll show you that in a moment. But what it does is it, as you can see, 
on screen is a copy of the ad so their ad is actually shown in the video this is fully mobile responsive they can watch that short video see their ad on screen they'll see their name um, they'll see the ad score and if they think that's of interest to me I can click the button and they can book an audit review with you so they can do all that immediately now you're not sat here wondering waiting for something to happen as soon as they do any of those things you get email notifications so you will be notified immediately when they open an email when they watch the video when they make a booking so that you can follow up accordingly and you can take the right kind of action now we know that people don't always open their email straight away so boost my PPC understands that and it has a built-in autoresponder so what it will do is it will automatically follow up with um, subsequent emails that are appropriate so if they don't open the email they'll get one sequence if they open it but don't click they get a different sequence if they click but don't book they get a different sequence and at any time you can pick up the phone now what you'll see in boost my PPC as well is the leads that you get in here once a person is in your prospect funnel it is tied to you for 30 days nobody else can use our system to email that same person so you won't be overlapping with anybody else you will always be just one-on-one -on -one with that prospect exclusively um, and that's something that's pretty pretty amazing Rob because every lead software that I know out there it's a kind of open game to whoever and everybody can go after those. So with you, that's an exclusive lead that they are working uh, themselves and nobody else can have access to that lead once it's assigned to you. Correct. And that's because it's appropriate. That works best for you. If you're going to put time and effort into following up with somebody, doing it properly, that's what it needs to do for you. Now you can see here, we've mentioned about different types of videos. For example, if you're in the UK, this is one of our UK female videos when it loads up in a couple of seconds. So what countries do you have we'll videos faster. for? I'll just come off that and I'll show you. We have UK, we have USA, we have Australia, we have male, we have female in, in all countries. Uh, let's just have a look at a different one, USA female too. There we go, she's loaded a little bit quicker. And if you want, if you prefer to be the star of the show, record a white screen video, put it on Amazon or wherever you want to host it, and just put the link in here put the link in here and you your video will show instead now these videos can be anywhere you want them to be if you don't have a website then they can go to our landing page but with all your contact details and your business names on the landing page if you've got a website already you can just copy paste this little bit of code here and that whole video section that we saw before so everything from our audits right the way down to the audit booking appears automatically on your website page you don't need to do anything other than book put a little piece of code on the page so Kevin is there anything that I should have said that I've missed out there yeah, I don't think uh, hopefully people realize when you uh, did that initial search you're looking for ones that are, have a score of 25 or low or out of 55. So it does a complete 55-point yep. uh, audit of their ad. And every single one of the, the ones that came up that was advertising was below that, uh, that threshold. So exactly. As you can see, there's a, a ton of uh, prospects out there. The majority yep. of the ones you're going to come across are going to be in that poor performing threshold. Exactly. And what we can see here, Kevin, on this screen is we've already gone out. It's, it's notifying me here. It's found email addresses for me. If I click the score, I can get a full breakdown of this is the ad that was shown. This is a copy of the page that was shown on. Um, we can preview the video review and we can actually look down and see how the score was broken down. So we can see exactly how we got to that. So if you're talking to them on the phone, you're not going in blind. You've got a break. If someone says, oh, why did my ad score badly? Well, here. Well, you didn't use the search term in the headline. You didn't use title case. You didn't use title case in your description. You get the idea you can be really informed and articulate without having to be an AdWords expert. I like all the comments that people are typing in. Jane says, this is the best software I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> really? Fantastic. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, well let me uh, switch back to my side again.
And there you go. You should be able to see this. So to kind of summarize, you're automating how you're automating your prospect with the Boost My PPC. It's Windows and Mac based. So regardless of what uh, kind of computer you have, it's going to work for you. It's going to build that qualified lead list of you just choose the industry that you want, and it can be as many industries and niches that you want, and the location that the, they're located in. And you get 500 leads every single month that meet your requirements that are exclusive to you for the next 30 days. And that's 30 days that they're engaged prospects. So if they're, you're interacting with them, that 30 days keeps moving forward until they're no longer an engaged prospect. So this is a huge industry first. And if you think about an exclusive lead that is uh, coming off of this, you would pay anywhere from, like if you were to try to go out and buy these leads, it'd at least be $10 or more. So that's $5,000 of value every single month that you're getting with these hot exclusive leads that are desperate for help. And then it's going to create that personalized prospecting video where it takes their ad, inserts it directly into the video so it looks like it sat, you sat here and created it specifically for them along with the results of their 55-point audit and the different for formats, so male, female, in the US, UK, and Australia. And if you want, you can create your own. Show, we show you exactly how to create your own. So now you're in the video that has their ad dynamically inserted into it. So that's a huge plus for you, really a credibility booster for you as well. Then it has a smart email follow-up system that tracks if they open the email or if they click through, and it's going to notify you every time they take an action. So every time somebody opens an email, you get an instant notification. And if they click and watch the video, you're going to get instant notification. So you can wait. You see that they opened and then clicked and watched the video. You can wait five, ten minutes and give them a call and say, hey, I just wanted to follow up and make sure that you got the, the video I sent you in if you had any questions, if you're able to watch it. And they're like, oh, yeah, I just uh, checked that out, and I'm really fascinated. So now you know exactly when to follow up with them, whether they're the hot prospect, and you can quickly convert that into an audit. Really easy to do. And here's the stats. Because, like Rob said, everything's being split tested. It's constantly improving. So the open rate on the emails is 21%. So if you think about it, this is a cold prospect list and 21% of cold prospects are opening the email and 27% are clicking through and watching the video. Those kind of conversion rates are insane and it just speaks to how hot of a prospect this is. That This is a huge pain point that they have and you're the first person to come across them to solve it for them. So these are hot prospects with just insane conversion rates from a cold list like this. And then based on their engagement, there's a four different email sequences if they open the message, if they clicked on the link, if they booked an audit or not, and they're split testing all of those to constantly be improving them. And everything drives them to get that audit request, which you saw exactly how to close those deals at that 80% success rate. And everything also is spam law compliant, so you can be confident that it's following all the right to uh, right spam laws. And then it has some great CRM like abilities. So you can add notes for each prospect, you can search it based on different criteria, you can export your leads, and you can even have your VA log in and manage the entire prospecting process for you so you don't even have to manage it yourself. You can have your VA manage it for you. So who's excited about taking action and doing this? Do you like this business model and you want to make money with this business model? And if you're excited about taking action and doing this business model, type in the chat box, I'm ready, and we'll give you a special link that you can use for us to start working together in this business. So type, if you love this, type in I'm ready, like, oh my gosh, there's a ton of them coming through. Like, I love Caroline, and uh, I've never seen so many uh, all caps yeses right there. That's awesome. So if you've been inspired by the possibilities this business can create for you and you want to start creating different results too, then here's how to take action. We can start working together when you get the PPC Profits ProJ program today. When you sign up today, it's going to take you by the hand and walk you step by step and give you everything you need to be successful. And this is important. This is not available to the general public because you're working with Rob and myself and our teams, and we have to closely limit the number of people in the ProJ program. So if you go to the site, you'll see it's closed to the general public. This is the only place you can get it. So Rob, really quickly, why did you spend so much time and effort and resources to create the ProJ program for people? 
It's really simple, Kevin. Um, our white label PPC business has grown very, very successfully, and it's grown entirely on the back of referral because pe agencies keep referring their their friends and their friends and their friends to us. Now, what's happened with that is we get people contacting us saying, "Hey, Rob, we've heard you're the people for PPC. We'd love to hire you. Could you give? Could you outsource clients to you?" And we say, "Of course, we'd love to help you. How many do you have?" And they say, ah, actually, not at the moment. We're hoping you could help us to get some. And this has been a regular conversation in our office over and over and over again. So we took that and said, what could we give agencies that would be the best training of everything that we think that they should know to sell AdWords? And that's what we've put together, and that's why we've done this. So what you're getting is a true business in a box that has four key components. The training on exactly how to be successful in the business, the software to automate the business to get your prospects and new clients, all the resources to manage your business successfully, and then the outsourcing to provide the, the high quality results for your clients without you having to be the expert yourself. So in the training standpoint, is everything you need to know to have a full-time income in this business. And it's broken down to five comprehensive modules where it has the videos, the handouts, and everything you need. So one is how to get started, then how to do the prospecting, presenting, and closing, then how to use the Boost My PPC software to fill your pipeline with hot prospects, then once you get a new client, how to onboard them successfully, and then start the fulfillment, and then how to manage that client ongoing so they stick with you for a really, really long time, and then just manage your operations ongoing. So let me really quick just show you what the, the back office looks like. So when you get started today, you're going to get instant access to the PPC Profits program. And under here, under intro, you're going to have all the getting started information. So we're going to show you exactly what types of prospects and niches to go after and which ones we found to not be good so you avoid those. And if you're new to the world of AdWords, you're going to want to watch this one right here. So it's a, a kind of training webinar where we walk you through all the fundamentals of the, the how AdWords works so you can talk intelligently about it but without having to be overwhelmed with all the details. So this is going to be a great one for you. And then you're going to get into the selling. So the entire sales process we go through in detail. So people are asking, can you see what an audit looks like? You're going to see exactly what an audit looks like, how to deliver it, how to uh, close it. Uh, how, like if they are under a contract with one of the large players, we address how do, how do you uh, help people that are in a contract to get out of that contract that's delivering bad results for them onboarding, how to price your services effectively so you have a great profit, then how to outsource it, then how to manage those clients ongoing, then how to use the software, then there's all kinds of great bonuses for you as well. Plus there's a lot of live training that we get. We, uh, every week we do a live training webinar and Q&A so you can get on there and we cover different aspects of the business. So you're always sharpening your skills and you get any of your questions that you have ongoing as well. And you can hear some from other successful members. Then we have a super active private Facebook mastermind group. Here's a couple of people who are just commenting about this uh, today. I grabbed this uh, on here. Is they're saying how this is one of the best Facebook mastermind groups they've ever been a part of because they're so highly active and they're there to support you every step of the way. And then we've done a lot of great interviews with the top agency owners where they share their secrets of how they're getting two, three, five new clients every single week so you can model their success. And Rob has a great relationship with the AdWords team at Google. So we actually do some Google Hangouts with Google's own AdWords team so you have direct access to Google's own staff because again, they want you to be successful in this business. And they get on Hangouts to share what's working right now. They have industry reports that they give Rob that we get to give all of you to use as well. Then on the software side, you're gonna get 30 days free access to use it, which is, comes with 500 unique exclusive leads every single month. It's gonna save you a ton of your time, over $5,000 worth of exclusive leads that you're gonna get each month. Plus it has that email fo smart follow-up system and split testing, the open and click tracking, the CRM-like abilities, the multiple video formats, or you can create your own that the system uses. You can cancel at any time after your trial, then it's $97 a month ongoing. But we're going to do a huge fast action bonus for the first 20 people, so stay tuned because we have a way better deal if you get signed up on today's webinar. 
Then on the resources, you're going to get all the sales and marketing templates that are white labeled to you. So you put your own branding and you can use the marketing brochures, PowerPoint presentations, ad reviews, checklists, the audit template if you want to do it yourself. You create your own proposals and contracts, phone scripts, all the things you need in your sales and marketing, as well as your operations templates, how to price your services, how to onboard clients, how to provide monthly reporting to them. So you have all the resources that you need to run your business successfully. And then finally, access to outsourcing. So the only way to get access to Rob's outsourcing team is you have to be a PPC Profits member. You need to be properly educated so you know how to then get clients and pass them off successfully to be outsourced. So you can't come off the street and get access to outsourcing. You have to go through PPC Profits. And a great thing is you get connected with a local account manager in the U.S. or U.K. or Australia base. So wherever you're located, there's going to be an a account manager in your geographic region that you're working with. So you're not dealing with somebody that's on a completely uh, different time zone halfway across the world. There's somebody in your local area. And here's a huge benefit. They're going to do your account audits and proposal creation for free. That's easily worth $100 for each audit that they're going to do for you so you don't have to do those yourself. And they're Google certified uh, partners. And you can, since they're providing the resources on the back end, you can say that you're a Google certified uh, agency because your fulfillment is being fulfilled by Google uh, certified partners. So you get to leverage Rob's team's credibility in your own efforts out there. So that gives you instant credibility. And you can use call tracking for all your clients. And they have a monthly campaign reporting that they will do the reporting for your clients as well. That's white labeled to you so that you don't have to worry about the monthly reporting. You can just use a white label reporting that you get. So now that you see everything you get, with all these resources, do you feel that you can get at least one client this month if you had all these resources at your disposal instantly right now moving forward? Kevin, while people are typing in the chat box, you, you're showing your desktop now? It's gone off oh, full really? screen? Huh. That, I love uh, how Mac and go to there you go. That's good. Don't like each other sometimes. So, oh wow. Yeah, Steve goes easily can get clients with this. Absolutely, Steve. So the question you're asking is, how much to join and be a member? So what you're getting is a franchise-like business. Early in my career, I worked in Subway's development office with all their franchisees. And I saw what a franchise-like world is. It, for them, in Subway, it costs a quarter million dollars to get started. And what I learned from the franchise world was really simple. That real businesses that brings you real success and real results in your life require an investment. In our industry of local marketing, the biggest franchise is called WSI Digital Marketing. And to get started with WSI, it's 49750 and then you're restricted to only getting clients in your geographic city that you're located in. But they have over 950 franchises worldwide. So even though you're getting a turnkey franchise-like system, it's not going to cost you the $49,000 to get started. So obviously you see the value of what you're getting today with this complete business in a box program. And even more important, you're investing in the value of the results it creates for you. You can use this to get one client this month that pays you $9,000 over the, the next year if it's just a $750 a month client. So would it be worth the value of one client to then be able to get 5, 10, 20, even 100 clients and have an unlimited income potential? So it's not the $9,000 that it's worth to get everything that you need to start getting clients. And other programs that gives you this much and are this complete of a complete business in a box system, they all sell for anywhere from $1997 to $3,500. I'm sure that's the price you're expecting this to be. I want to give you the best value possible so you win with this. So it's not $1997 like all those other programs. The normal retail price that people not as well would have to pay is $1,497. So why $1,497? We want to know that you're serious and you have some skin in the game. We're taking on all the risks. You're going to be using Rob's team and you can get your money back at any time. And we want to know you're going to take this serious. And when you think about it, if all this does for you is gets just one new client paying you $750 a month, it puts you into profit with your very first client. And that's not over $9,000 a year from that one client. 
And remember, once you get your first client, it just gets easier and easier to get more clients. And because you're getting a complete step-by-step -step system, business in a box training program, you can be confident that this can work for you. So we're doing something special today for all of Chris's awesome people. Because like I said at the beginning, we want everybody to win. And Rob and I want to give you the best deal possible you can. So you're getting the half off webinar special of only $697. Because Chris is a friend of mine, I've known him for I think over four years now, I wanted his people to get this and wanted to do it for the best price ever just for their people. They really look out for you. Rob, or Chris really looks out for you. And I really respect that because I'm the same way. Integrity and class and authenticity is important. In fact, this barely covers our cost because of everything we give you and how much of our personal attention, our team's attention, you're getting from our team because we believe in you, which makes us even more motivated for this to work for you. So you can't get it outside of this webinar. And this link at www.ppc-profits.com forward slash winners will close down soon. We want people who are decisive so we can really work with you to get exceptional, extraordinary results. And we're going to do two special things for the people that are getting ready to get started right now at ppc-profits.com forward slash winners. One, we're going to give you a lifetime upgrade to the Boost My PPC software. So we're going to double the amount of time that you can use it completely free. Instead of 30 days, you're going to get 60 days. And instead of 500 leads, we're going to give you 50% more leads, 750 leads exclusive to you for the life of your account. So that's 1,500 free leads you're going to get over the next 60 days. That's a $15,000 value. You can already be getting clients and making money over these next 60 days from those 1,500 exclusive leads that you're going to get. And then we're going to give you a lifetime discount. So instead of 97, you're going to get 67 a month, and you can cancel that at any time. So you're not locked into anything. So this is a huge benefit for the first 20 people that get going right now at ppc-profits.com forward slash winners. And once you're in, type in the chat box and let us know that you're in so we can make sure that you're one of those first 20 people that get this exclusive bonus. And then we're going to do something else awesome for you as well is we are going to give you all the upsells for free. Instead of charging you extra for upsells other people might do, we just decided we're going to give it as well as a professional agency marketing video for you for free. And then we have a, a weekly newsletter that we uh, create and publish that Rob's team creates on what's happening right now in pay-per-click. And that's going to be delivered to you for free every single week that you can give to your clients and your prospects to position yourself as an expert and as well we'll stay up to date on what's happening. And if you need virtual assistance, we'll uh, give you a, uh, show you how to get virtual assistance for free as well. And I want you to feel confident to take that small leap of faith and join our community. Try it out and realize this is your ticket to living a life of financial and time freedom. So take it for the test drive for the next 30 days. Try it out. Use it. Start putting money in your pocket with it. If at any time during these next 30 days you decide it's not the right thing for you or you're unhappy for any reason, no problem. Just let us know and we'll hand you back 100% of the money you paid for the program, for the protege program, no questions asked. So let's recap everything you're instantly getting today when you take action at the ppc-profits.com forward slash winners. You can see the link in the chat box as well. So one, you're getting the over half off special. You're going to save $800 and it's only $697 when you get started today. So that's a huge savings for you because you're a, one of Chris's awesome people. You're going to get the step-by-step -step comprehensive training, the live weekly webinars, access to the, the highly interactive Facebook mastermind group that we're a part of every single day. Get all the sales, marketing, operations resources that you need to successfully grow your business. You're going to get exclusive access to the PPC, Invisible PPC outsourcing team where they'll do your audits and proposals for free. You're going to get your own account rep that you're working with. You're going to be able to leverage their certified partner credibility with Google. And they're going to, Get the fast action bonuses. You're one of the first people to get started on the, today's webinar. And get 60 days free access to this software and 750 lifetime leads as long as you're a, a user of the software. So, and then you're going to get all the upsells for free the professional agency website and the video. All the upsells you're not going to have to pay for. We're giving those to you for free as well. So, make sure you get started at ppc-profits.com forward slash winners and be one of those first people. So if you have any questions, we're take any questions that you have right now. 
and type those into the chat box if you have any questions. And while you're typing that in, I know uh, two things. There's a couple questions, common questions that we can cover for you. And then Chris really wanted to do a couple special things for everybody that got started in this business because he's such a, a, a fan of the business model himself. Hey guys, that was fantastic. Um, I know everybody enjoyed that. I mean, that's just massive, massive value on here. Again, we just delivered just the best on that end of it. But I've gone through the entire course, and as a lot of you know that have followed me, a lot of you requested that I create a course like this. I just don't have the time to do it. Um, but I went through the entire course, extremely thorough, and don't worry for a minute if you're like me when you first started out with AdWords, you're thinking, geez, there's so much to learn, how can I do this? They walk you through it, you do not need to be an expert to do this at all. Um, so just set that aside, you're gonna be taking care of that. The, the, the entire course is complete. There was one missing hole in it because they can't provide everything. So I wanted to fill that out for you. And I didn't want it to be a stumbling block for anybody out there because literally this is kind of like a turnkey situation on here. And that is one of the best ways to control the situation so you get the best outcome for the client is usually not their website is what I found. It's having your own landing page that has a high Google quality score. Now without getting into any details about the Google quality score, just know that the higher the quality of the page is, the content is according to Google, the lower that you're going to be paying per ad. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. But in any event, I don't want that to be a stumbling block. So as a lot of you know who's gone through my support system, they're always there. They have live chat. We really pride ourselves on providing good customer support. For the first 20 people, and you got to understand we can only do this for the first 20 people, my team will give you three months from the date of purchase to do this. So we need people to you know, get in the course, and then you know, you, you're gonna have the leads hand delivered to you, so you're gonna get clients right away. So three months is plenty of time. You got three months, we're gonna custom make a landing page for you. Uh, it will have very high Google quality score. You can do as many changes, A, B splits, change the colors, whatever you want during that three months. That'll give you more than enough time. We'll do that for one niche for you. Um, and that will ensure that you get off to a fantastic start. Now in addition to that, and maybe Rob can chime in on this, is that on any local business, it's always a really good idea on your ads to put in a call tracking. Um, and the reason for that should be obvious, but you want to be able to know where the calls are coming from. You want to be able to show the clients for that. And for those of you who are not calls of the 2.0 students on that end of it, uh, you're going to get three months of that absolutely free. Uh, it, it, it allows a place for your clients to log in. It's got your own logo on it. Everything's there. A client can call can log in. They can see exactly how many calls came in. They can listen to all the calls. They can see the amount that are dropped and all that kind of stuff. But so you got the landing page, we'll do as many changes and A-B splits as you want, does not matter. Just for one niche, it's enough to get you off to a really fast start. Okay, after that you're going to have plenty of income coming in to be able to have to either outsource it out to someplace else and you're going to get three months to of call, zoo, call tracking. And that's just for the first 20 people. You gotta understand that's a lot of heavy lifting on our part. So 20, we want to make sure that we can secure those people in there with that. That's a uh, awesome, uh, several awesome bonuses because it ties in directly with everything that Rob and myself teach. So two major things that they're, they're missing is when you, you take over their account is almost all of them are not doing landing pages and they absolutely need to be doing landing pages. So now you have a solution to provide landing pages and in the training we show you how you can charge anywhere around $300 for each landing page that you set up for them. So that could be straight profit for you moving forward. Another thing they're not doing is call tracking. They absolutely need to be doing call tracking. So now you can be offering call tracking to them which is going to have a huge impact on their, their campaign. So those are absolutely what they need to be doing and you're going to be finding client over client over client needs both of those services. Awesome. And I know um, 
Rob and, and Kevin didn't have time to you know, explain everything that they do, their entire business model, all the details on that evidence. But I just want to kind of recap really quickly the enormous opportunity here um, is that it, you have to understand that, that Google takes in billions and billions and billions of dollars per year and they keep growing. They're one of the fastest companies in the world right now. Where do they get all the revenue? through ad revenue. So th this just keeps growing and growing and growing on here. When you go out and you and you look at any niche, I, I guarantee you just randomly look on the look like like Rob was doing earlier and you look at their ad copy, you can see right away that we just saw horrible examples and the one was kind of funny where they put the square footage in there. You'll just find that wasn't staged. You'll just find that stuff over and over again. Now Rob didn't go in and actually click on the sites or copy and paste their URL so they don't get charged, but I can guarantee you that nine out of ten of those pages were absolutely horrific. Uh, they just had nothing to do with call to action, calling, any client, anything like that. And that's why you want to create a really good landing page because you can control the situation on that end of it rather than working with the client uh, and working with the client's webmaster in order to go back and forth with them to get it done. You can control the situation. And then what a lot of these clients don't do, and, and Rob laid out some of those things, is, is they don't put any of the links down below. If they're using a, a Google if they have Google uh, Places, they don't use Google Places on that end of it. Um, they don't have a good quality score, so they're paying probably twice as much as they need to uh, on that. Um, there's just so many areas of improvement that you can do with these existing campaigns. A lot of times, clients uh, that we found, clients will be spending maybe $2,000, and we can literally cut that budget by a good 30 to 40%, sometimes 50%, just by the, the cost per click, just by using more efficient methods that he covers completely in the course there. Um, and then obviously that you're going to look like a superstar right away. But one of the things we like to do, and I want you to think about this too, is that if you start to get really good at a niche, which you will because you've got this entire team supporting you, just imagine that you become the expert at say a plumbing niche, a plumbing niche, in, or, or any niche you want in any city in the world. If you do that, say in the United States, more than likely that same ad and that same landing page is going to convert just as well in San Diego as it will in LA, as it will in Berkeley, as it will in San Francisco, Houston, Miami, Seattle, Portland, Oregon, and so on and so forth. And you can manage all that stuff from one dashboard. It's just a wonderful opportunity to be able to really expand and grow your business. And a, one thing that these clients don't do is they don't use retargeting. Most of the time you'll find that the existing clients out there that have a, a Google AdWords account, all they got to do is literally, it's as simple as checking a checkbox off to do retargeting. And retargeting, if you're not doing retargeting, you're literally letting, I would guess it depends on a niche, but anywhere from 20% upwards of your total revenue is going out the window just by not checking that. And it doesn't cost, it costs pennies compared to what your ad costs. And then it. Anyways, I'll be quiet. I could go on for hours about it, but it's a fantastic opportunity here. How many spots do we have available at this point? We haven't even gotten to questions and I, I can see it. <laughs> Uh, going There's crazy a, there. A bunch of people typing that I'm in. So I believe uh, the couple of people mentioned the link wasn't working. So the the first link in there was missing a W. So if you look in the chat box now, click on there, you'll get right to the uh, the site, be able to get signed in. And I just want to address what you said about retargeting. Absolutely, Chris. People, the majority of uh, local businesses are not doing retargeting because they don't know it's possible. They don't know how to do it. So that's a huge opportunity. And actually. This week's uh, members webinar was all about how to sell retargeting to your clients because, like you said, huge opportunity and it's a, they're not doing it right now. A great way to uh, help your clients get tremendous results and increase your, your revenue as well. So a couple quick questions that I know people are going to have and then we'll take some out of the chat box is one, uh, Rob, why would a business keep paying monthly? I know this is something that if somebody's never done this before, they, they kind of question, like, why would they keep paying you month after month to manage their account for them? Well, there's lots of reasons, to be honest, Kevin. I mean, uh, at the very basic, um, if you're managing your account, your competitors are managing their accounts. So what's winning today might not be winning tomorrow, 
your account manager has to stay on top of what the competition is doing. We know that Google changes regularly, so we have to stay on top of that. But more importantly, we do lots of split testing, we do lots of optimization, we're constantly working to involve and improve a campaign. And that doesn't happen in one week or one month, it will happen in three, six, twelve months. And the big thing there is the clients are very, very frightened of taking it back and making a mistake and breaking their account. So there's lots of work to be done, but clients don't want to mess with it because the last thing they want to do is get a campaign working, get it making profits, and have it then take it back and make it tank so they lose all their business. They don't want to be there. Yeah, I've found this in my own agency over the past uh, year and a half. It's extremely sticky. Like once you get a client, like you said, they're extremely afraid for it to stop working because they know what it was like when it wasn't working and now that it is working they don't want that to go away so it's it's a really sticky long-term uh, client that you get out of this so another question is if somebody's new at this how can they have credibility if they're just brand new get coming out of the the gate it's really easy well what we can do is several things number one watch the AdWords 101 webinar, you will learn the language of AdWords. So you can talk it, you don't have to know an expert, you just have to be, you know, it's like being a car salesman, you need to know enough to describe the car, you don't need to be able to go through all the mechanics and all the details of it. We then back that up though, we'll provide you with an agency website if you want one, if you haven't got a site already, we'll provide you one. It's all done to look good, um, as you can see on the screen there. Yeah, we also provide, right yeah, and we also provide brochures. We provide case studies. We provide reports that are provided directly from Google's internal account rep team, rep team, rep team, team that you put on and take to your prospect with you. And I guarantee nobody else will have those because we know how hard they are to get hold of. And of course, all your staff who work on your account are Google certified, so you can leverage that certified credibility as well. So you've got lots of ways in which you can build credibility and the single most important thing when you've done an audit you've already demonstrated you're an expert and here's the uh, example site of what yours is going to look like if you're one of those first 20 and you in the fast action bonus where we set this up for you so this is going to be your own company logo or whatever branding that you have it's going to have your phone number right here and as you can see it looks very professional it looks like a legit like a really high quality uh, pay-per-click uh, agency, has a great content, they can book a, an audit right here, and then you have your own video page that uh, you get to have to uh, position yourself properly. It shows all the uh, the problems that uh, clients or, or prospects have and how you can help them. So you can see you really position yourself powerfully with your own site and all the other credibility uh, factors that Rob uh, covered there. So we talked all about local businesses, but are there other things that they could outsource besides just a traditional local business? Just about any AdWords account you can imagine. So the only ones I wouldn't recommend outsourcing are very, very, very small $100, $200 budget AdWords accounts, but you don't want to be targeting those anyway. If it's a, brand, if it's a new advertiser who wants to advertise, that can be outsourced. We can still prepare sales proposals for you for new accounts. We can do e-commerce accounts, so online retailers. We can do national and international campaigns, and even some foreign language stuff. And also non-profits. We did a great webinar uh, about three weeks ago on Google for non-profits, because Google gives non-profits $10,000 in ad spend a month if they qualify. And you can go and leverage that and sell that. So we can cover just about every type of business out there. And what countries can uh, this work in? Okay, well, the Boost My PPC software currently works in um, US, Canada, UK, Ireland, um, Australia, Singapore. We're adding New Zealand into that at the weekend. Um, it also, as an outsource agency, we can service obviously anywhere English speaking, and we also are currently running campaigns in French, German, and Spanish. All right, so let's recap everything you're instantly getting today when you take action at www.ppc-profits.com forward slash winners. You're getting the uh, the half off or actually over half off webinar special. You're saving $800, only $697, the complete comprehensive training, 
the live weekly webinars, the Facebook mastermind group, all your resources and sales, marketing operations, access to outsourcing to, to have your audits done for free, your proposals created for free, access to account rep that's managing all your clients' accounts for you. You can leverage the certified partner credibility. Plus, you're going to get 60 days free access to the software, uh, 750 lifetime leads for every month that you have the account. You're going to get the bonus leads every month, so 750 leads. That's 1,500 free leads that you're getting that you can put money in your pocket right now. And then you're going to get all the upsells for free, the agency website, the video, and everything else. So don't you agree you're getting everything you need to achieve your dreams and goals with this business? And remember, from this point forward, with this business, all you need to do, all you need to do is focus on getting just a couple customers using automated tools, cashing their checks in your bank account, and letting us do the rest of the work for you. Now that's something I know you can do. So if this feels right to you, then let's get started together. Take the first step by going to www.ppcprofits.com forward slash winners. And I will see you and Rob We'll see you on the other side, and we can't wait to welcome you to the PPC Profits Proje family and you becoming the next success story as well. So uh, here in the chat box, is there any other questions that we want to make sure we cover for people? I know a number of people, are, a lot of people are typing it in, and what we'll do is as long as the, uh, the site says the fast action bonuses are still available to you from this webinar, then you're, you're going to be uh, in. So as long as the site says you're getting the fast action bonuses, then we'll honor that and we'll make sure that you're going to get all those fast action bonuses for getting started right now on this webinar. So is there any uh, things Absolutely. That we... Yeah. I just like to touch on something Chris mentioned actually, Kevin, which is about call tracking. Call tracking is super important in local. Um, so the fact you've got a call tracking built into this platform through Chris's bonus is phenomenal. Local businesses are seeing more and more and more of their search volume go mobile. Calls matter more than ever, and if you don't call track and call record, you're probably losing out on 60 to 70% of your inquiries that your AdWords campaign can take credit for. So having those built into the program through Chris is phenomenally useful. A couple of the questions on here I wanted to ask. Uh, so Rick writes on here, so uh, what does your program not do, in other words, what am I expected to do besides getting the leads? Can you kind of go over that a little bit? I certainly can. Right. Here's one thing we definitely don't do. We do not teach you how to run an AdWords campaign. You know, how to run AdWords is a separate training completely. We won't teach you how to do that. Um, I wouldn't recommend you do it because it is so fast changing. Whether you outsource to us or anybody else, please outsource to somebody because it's not worth your time and effort to do that. Um, what we also can't do for you is we can't do the sales close itself but everything else we teach you how to do um, so everything from getting the inquiry get it booking the audit delivering the audit taking through them onboarding them into your business getting the invoices raised getting the contracts and agreements we even provide you with you know the sample proposal document with a contract built into it that you can use to get it signed so other than picking up the phone for you, you're covered. Great, great, great. Um, on here, so if, if, if somebody who's just starting out, I just want to just kind of reiterate this, somebody who's just starting out who doesn't have any, doesn't know any knowledge about AdWords, um, how to work them, doesn't understand all the language in there, um, what would you say to somebody like that? Right, if you're just getting started, the first thing to absolutely do is watch the AdWords 101 webinar because it sets out the language you need to do know to sound professional. And that's, that's, a, you know, that's, that's the, one of our longest trainings in there. It's about an hour long, but it gives you everything you need to know about how to sound professional. Read the sales materials, read the brochures that we provide, and you'll get really comfortable with the market. And then start doing some gentle prospecting because you can... If you use the Boost My PPC tool, all those initial conversations you're ever going to have to have with anybody is to pick up the phone to get an email address. By the time you have a second conversation with somebody, then they're either booking an audit or they're watching one of your videos, and it's now a much simpler, warm call rather than being a cold call. So, and 
you've obviously got our team in the background. So if anybody is uncomfortable with that, there's, a, there's great help in the Facebook group and in our team of somebody saying, I've got my first audit. I'm a bit nervous. What do I do? And people will always chip in and help with advice and suggestions. And I Fantastic. On that end of it. Here at Dale asked, are there, uh, what's the uh, best way to go through the membership site? And Because it looks like there's a lot of material. And a great thing is, these are not like hour long videos. These are quick to the point, giving you exactly what you need and broken up into little mini segments. So you can go through these very quickly, get the ground, uh, the all the fundamentals that you need. So you want to just go through these, uh, these first intro ones if you're brand new. Definitely the AdWords 101 that uh, Rob talked about. And then you can learn how the sales process works and then get right into using the software to start getting prospects. And then also, if you're new, another good thing is under the bonus section right here, we have quite a few interviews with past successful or with current uh, successful agency owners where they share exactly how they're doing the business. So you get that practical knowledge and insight on how other people, just like you, are doing this business that are a little ahead of you in the process. Yeah, and can I just make a point, actually, something I've been asked here. People are so desperate to get going. People still in the webinar who've already made the purchase are trying to get into Boost My PPC software. We create the Boost My PPC accounts manually for you. So you'll get straight into the training as soon as you buy. And it will say in the welcome email that the Boost My PPC account will be created manually. Given the fact it's now the middle of the night for me and it's my team are finished for the day, They'll be on very early in the morning, um, way before most people, particularly in the US, are out of bed. Your Boost My PPC will be account will be created by the time you get out of bed in the morning, and there'll be an email waiting for you with all your login details. So that's why, if you are waiting for that, go through some training first. Boost My PPC will be with you very shortly. All right. Well. Rob and I are really excited to be working with all of you. Uh, you have an exciting road ahead of you. You're going to start seeing some great results with this, and you're going to join a really passionate community that's very active, very supportive, because we're all out there to make a big impact in the clients that we serve and really help them. So we're excited for you to be a part of the program. Can't wait to be working with you. And we're going to stay on here and answer any questions you have in the chat box. So I'm going to let Rob kind of give his uh, final words wisdom for you. If you have any questions, we'll answer in the chat box for you uh, directly on here. So any last words that you have for everybody, Rob? I would just say, A, I hope you've got tremendous value out of tonight. I hope that whether you choose to join our program or not, the lessons that we've gone through and the things that we've explained allow you to go out and start getting AdWords clients tomorrow. I've seen businesses build on the back of AdWords, and I've seen small agencies grow into bigger agencies very successfully by doing this. So whether you work with our tool or you go go solo, there is a very real business opportunity out there that you can do some Google searches first thing in the morning, and you can start finding prospects for to put into your business. And I, if we get a chance, I sincerely hope we get to work together. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Have a great day and excited to be working together. And we'll stay on uh, kind of in silence and ask your questions in the chat box for you.